guys, my name is JC, otherwise known as your boy, the Aviant Gamer, and today I'm taking us back to another Minecraft video. Today we're going to be talking about what you actually need to do for um, OBS, or the Open Broadcasting Software. Uh, let me get this nice and full screen for you guys. So basically what we're going to do is we're going to be doing a little bit of a showcase video showing you guys how you should do to kind of set up your OBS. Um, there's a couple things that you can do. Uh, some of these are different because I am doing it on a Mac, uh, just because I like the editing software for my videos on that. Um, don't hate on me for that. Haters, you just shouldn't be around here. It's not it's not cool. Anyway, so basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna talk about a couple things and I probably shouldn't have had it full screen just so I can showcase everything because there's a lot of things that I'm gonna showcase, how you can make a good stream overlay, how you can like, make it make it look really professional. Um, but first of all, let's get into a couple things. So first of all, I have um right here I have my two different uh, settings right there I guess. Um, I have it set up so you know if I ever want to switch in between stuff like see I can get a nice full screen if I ever feel like it. Um, and then I have that over here, so it's all cut and stuff. So basically, it's good to have a couple of these, um, a couple things set up like this as well. So you can just kind of go around and switch through them if you ever want to talk to somebody. So say, you like, somebody's hey there, and you can be like, hi, uh, I like potatoes. And then that's basically what you do. But um, So basically, over here, I've got my whole little overlay um, set up. So basically, what you want to do is, this basically consists of a couple things. Um, so we've got a display capture and stuff. It's basically my mainstream overlay. I'm not too organized with it. Um, but I have a couple things, so let me showcase this, and I don't think that actually has a purpose, nope. Um, so the video capture is the um, thing up here, and if you ever want to edit, so you have a camera, and you want to edit something, you can do a couple things. So a chroma key is a filter, um, so you go on there, you can actually change it, so apparently it's green right now. So if I kept sliding this, and sliding this, and sliding this, it would eventually get to the point where I'd, I'd be green screen now. So this is this was basically what you call a green screen, it's been using the green screen behind me, and basically now, um, it just looks like I have nothing behind me, which is very nice. Um, but anyway, so that's pretty much that if you ever want to do a green screen like that. Um, and then, of course, there's the crop option as well in the properties section. I'm not meant to do that. But uh, properties. Actually, that's filters. Never mind. Filters. So filters. Okay, this is getting a little bit annoying now. But anyway, so basically, once you have your filters, um, you can kind of go through and crop things. Um, I'll have things cropped just so it looks like it's decent, I guess. Um, but anyway, so next thing is the window captures, and um, basically how I have this set up is, if I can find it, and yes, I do have it, okay. So basically what I have here is the chat thing right here, and I apologize for the Skype noises. But this is the chat right here, and what I've done is, I've just had the window capture, uh, like, properties, and I have that set to that. So, basically that's what that is, and then I haven't even cropped it yet, but you can always crop it if you're really interested. Let me saw that off there. Another thing is, um, if you ever wanted to, uh, here's the subscriber count. That's how I do it. Um, so all you have to do is just go to subscribercount.com. That's how it's set up so that you know it looks like I guess pretty decent. And you just kind of crop things a little bit, and that's how you get your your crop nice and good. Um, so yeah, it's basically how you do crop. And I didn't know that it's it's really weird. This is some weird glitch I just found. Um, but anyway, so now we've gone over all these things. Let's go over the next part of this, um, which would be the overlay. And the overlay is basically an image. If I can, yeah. Okay, so basically all it is is just an image. It is just a solid image that you know you do whatever you want with. You can look these up. Um, and I've just made I made this one. Um, basically, it's something that just goes over your thing underneath it to make it look all professional and stuff. Um, there's nothing real too much to it. You just add an image, and that's basically just a PNG file. Um, the next thing is the game capture. And I think this is the game capture. Okay, yep. game capture is what you want to do for anything like Minecraft. Um, anything other than that, uh, you know, you want to make sure that you have uh, like you know use your Minecraft or you have anything that's like a game. That's what you want to use on that. But now let's actually get into the settings. Um, so of course you're gonna need some um, input and output captures to capture everything in your uh, game. So everybody, here's what you're doing in Minecraft. Um, but let's go over to the uh, general section. So I'm gonna show you guys pretty much. You're not really want to care about this. The stream. I'm hoping. Okay, I don't have. Um, anything on the I was I was hoping that my stream key was not going to be showing on the video, um, but basically you want to make sure you have your streaming services. Um, for YouTube, you want to do YouTube gaming, and you want to always do the backup server. That way, if someone um, that's why because the backup server usually doesn't have too many people on it. Um, so I'll put over here. Um, this is pretty much dependent on your internet, but the encoder preset should always be uh, ultra fast. Um, just so it, it, you, you don't get as much uh, um, issues. And it all depends on your internet as well. So if you have really bad internet, you're going to actually need to beef that up. Um, and of course, audio bitrate. I like to have my bitrate really high because I like people to hear my voice because I got this new microphone. I want to make sure it sounds really good. Um, encoding, you all have to depend. So this is all pretty much computer dependent. And then recording, if you're, if you're trying to do recording, then that's not too much. The next thing you really want to worry about is um, audio is pretty much, you don't need to mess with that. 
um, the base canvas resolution. Uh, I usually have my stream set at 30 FPS just so I don't have any issues. 30 FPS is pretty decent for what you're doing if you're streaming. Uh, 60 FPS is what you want to do for recording. Uh, but obviously, and then of course base canvas would be whatever your default computer resolution is. Um, I can go in here and I should have the access. Yep, I do have my other option which is 250 by uh, 140, but I don't have that set up yet. I don't like using it because it causes a lot of lag. And of course, it's really hard to beef that much uh, stuff out as well on my computer. But um, that's pretty much that. Um, so that's, that's and of course, if you're ever interested in studio mode, which is kind of messing around, um, I'll do a little bit of show how you do that. Um, so basically, for example, over here, this is what it's currently looking like on the stream right here. And so whatever you want to do is you want to just kind of like, for example, you want to make this really big, but you didn't want to put it on the live stream just yet. You could be like, hi, and then you could transition it, and then you know. We're both sitting there, it's two people, you know, doing the dance right there, okay. But anyway, so that's how you do both things, I guess. And, um, so that's how you do pretty much both of those. And then, of course, if I want to switch it back, I just shrink that back down. See, whatever the, wherever we were at, and then you can transition again. So transition backwards, and that would be that. Um, so another thing is, if you ever want to do, like, alerts or something, basically, um, I'm going to showcase how I did the subscriber counter. So let me get a studio mode, because this is not too fun to watch. Look at this little bit big screen as well. So if you ever want to show you guys how you do a subscriber counter, as I said, we have the window over here. So here's the window. Um, basically what you want to do is, I'm going to scoot this actually over here so I can actually see the subscriber counter. Um, but basically, um, all I have to do for the um, the window capture, I have it as a window capture. And the filters, I have a crop to make sure that the crop looks good so it crops it to exactly where it's supposed to be. And I have a color key so I want to amp this up even more. Um, you know, that's all you have to do, and of course it makes things really sharp as well, so you can have some really sharp images and stuff, and that's pretty much that, so that's the, that's how you set up your, pretty much your, the subscriber account, you just go to subscribercount.com and see when I scroll up on this news, so every time someone subscribes, it updates, and then it changes, so you guys can see that as well. And then, of course, for the chat, um, I have the chat window over here pretty much in the same situation, so whatever I do on here, I type, t type potato, potato, I type potato, then it's going to um, I think so, I might have, I think I might have typed afterwards, but anyway, so you can just type stuff, potato, and it would show up in the chat. For example, I usually have, like, whatever server I'm playing on Modplex, like IK123, um, I usually have that on there, so anytime someone looks on that, I just see the chat down there, and that's how they do that, that's how I tend to do things, and of course, you can always adjust this however you like and choose to, but that's, uh, that's pretty much how I set up my streams. Um, for pretty much what I do. And of course you always need to throw into a green screen. You don't really need to have too much to get a green screen. You really don't need to be professional. You, um, I will recommend that you probably do want to get a webcam if you if you can. Uh, the webcam uh, mic is really not that important because people can understand you have a crap mic, but yeah. Beep. Well, people like to see you when they look around you. I'm sorry about that. I don't know what happened there. I don't even know what that's going to look like on the recording. But um, basically what people like to see is I like to see somebody, so you know, for example, they like to see someone with a webcam, so for example, my lovely face gets me off of movies. We all know this. We, we all, we all, mm-hmm, mm -hmm. But anyway, that's, uh, that's pretty much that little bit of the thing. And of course, on um, the chat and stuff, when people see that you got all this stuff and you put the work in your stream, people are going to subscribe, uh, you know, take it from me, I'm only three months old. But anyway, I've got people ch chatting and commenting on my videos, so i got to check on that. Thank you all for tuning in and watching. This is by subscriber request. So you guys request the videos. I'll try to show you, showcase how you can do that. And the first time, hit the subscribe button if you're new. But I thank you all for watching, guys. Of course, I'll see you guys next time. So I keep thinking I'm recording on that. See you guys next time, and bye.